Hey guys, it's Boxpro. Welcome to another Fallout 76 video. Today I'm going to be talking about the Gatling Plasma, and it's pretty much just going to be a comprehensive guide on how to get the Gatling Plasma, the best legendary effects for the Gatling Plasma, and perk cards that will benefit the Gatling Plasma. So the plan for the Gatling Plasma is a little bit random to find. There's a lot of different ways to get it, which is, I guess, a good thing. There's a lot of different creatures here, like in these regions of the map, that can have a chance of dropping the Gatling Plasma plan. And then there's also treasure maps, um, or there's even like world spawns for it, or a low chance for a daily ops drop. Your best bet is probably if you're a Enclave member and you have access to the uh, armory terminal in the White Spring Bunker. Uh, that is probably the easiest way to just go there and buy it. So I'll go ahead and show you guys that right now. So if you already have access to this area, then you should be good. Um, but I'll just go ahead and show you the location just in case you might have forgotten. Um, there is the White Spring Resort right here, but there's actually a, uh, a back entrance that you can unlock right here, which is the White Spring Bunker. So I'm going to go ahead and fast travel to that. And once you're at this little back shortcut entrance, we can go ahead and hop in here. And then if you are a qualified Enclave member, then you should be able to get through this ID card swipe and through these lasers as well. All right, I always get a little bit confused when navigating inside this bunker, but we want to go ahead and get to the vendors section. So I believe we can go through, um, I think we actually need to go to the elevators. So let's go this way. I believe it's over in this direction, military wing. Okay, so now that we're in this area, we want to go, we can go through the military wing and up into command. So you're going to have to be an Enclave General, and then um, we can access the Armory. This is the Armory area, right? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Armory. Um, and then in here, we have some terminals that we can trade with, and we can go to Notes. And then um, right here, I already know it, but this is the Gatling Plasma plan. And then of course, it's going to be pretty pricey in caps. But if you use any charisma boosting uh, perks or buffs, you will be able to reduce the price. Um, so make sure to do that before purchasing it. Um, and then, yeah, you, once you have the plan, you can learn it and you'll be able to craft Gatling Plasmas. Um, but if you already have a Gatling Plasma, then you can go ahead and do legendary crafting on that from the start. All right, so now that we have the plan, um, let's go ahead and talk about the actual legendary effects and mods that I think are, I would say, the best. All right, so let's talk about the modifications for it first. And in terms of actually obtaining these mods, most mods are obtained by scrapping down the weapon. So if you have the plan, you can craft it and use the perk like Super Duper to get like two uh, crafts with one craft and then you can scrap them both down and then possibly get a uh, uh, a mod plan from that or sometimes in vendors or throughout the world you'll find uh, mods for the Gatling Plasma um, but let's go ahead and look at the receivers here so there's the standard receiver and then there's the prime receiver uh, the prime receiver is only dropped from killing Scorch Beast uh, including the Scorch Beast Queen and it is like a random chance drop but once you do get it, it is going to be the best receiver. It's been taking Prime Fusion Cores, but overall Prime is going to be better, in my opinion, just because it gives you the most damage. Now, in terms of the barrel, we got the standard and then we got the rifled barrel. And uh, rifled barrel is just going to be better because you just get better recoil. <laughs> um, next, we have standard magazine. There is no magazine extension, just standard magazine. Then we have a reflex sight or a standard sight. You might as well throw on the reflex sight because it'll give you some better focus and sighted accuracy. Next, we have the the actual like uh, as the nozzle or the the barrel. So we have a couple different options here. So standard, we got beam focuser and we have beam splitter. So in this case, I believe beam focuser is going to be better in most cases for your Gatling plasma, unless you have a legacy Gatling plasma. And a Legacy Gatling Plasma is pretty much a Gatling Plasma with the explosive legendary effect that you can no longer get. Although the item still exists and kind of like circulates in the 76 community uh, through like trading and whatnot. So in that case, then you go for the Beam Splitter so that your projectiles uh, split and explode, um, which may just makes it a lot more effective. And then, you know, if you don't have the explosive effect, then Beam Focuser is going to be ideal for, for, your, uh, for overall use. So that's pretty much all of the best mods and what I'm running right now is like the best mod setup for a uh, 
for a legacy Gatling Plasma, and then you would just switch the, the uh, this barrel out for the Focuser if yours is not legacy. Um, next, let's talk about the legendary effects. So honestly, nothing changes too much uh, <laughs> you know, with the standard meta. If you're a bloodied build, bloodied is going to be the best prefix. If you are a full health build, you're probably going to want anti-armor or um, vampires. Could also be a good alternative for the prefixes. Um, if you are a junkies build, junkies is going to be ideal for you for the prefix. In terms of non-prefixes, we have like faster reload or extra damage while aiming. Um, I'm trying to remember what other legendary effects we got here. You don't really use vats, so I wouldn't use or get any vats on the Gatling Plasma. Reduced weight could be helpful as well for our third one. 25% faster fire rate would be really good for DPS. That's, that's a really good one. Uh, the last thing that I want to talk about is going to be perk cards that are good for the Gatling Plasma. So Gatling Plasma being a heavy class weapon, it will mostly uh, it'll only align with perk cards that benefit heavy weapons. So cards like Expert Heavy Gunner, you know, that will add to the um, gun's damage. And then if you are using a Legacy one, then having Demolition Expert will benefit the explosive damage from the legacy effect. And then uh, another web thing that's good is like stabilize, you know, heavy guns while in power armor gain extra armor pen, which is really, really strong. Um, so stabilize is really good. And then, you know, batteries included will make the ammo weight that this gun uses reduced. And then bloody mess is just like a flat damage boost. You know, we got one gun army, which will affect the Gatling plasma. I think that is pretty much all of the perk cards that I can think of off the top of my head that directly affect the uh, Gatling Plasma. And yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comment section below. But otherwise, until next time.